All right, Alan, it's time to eat it. Are you ready? Well, good morning. How are everybody doing? Good, good, good. Good, awesome. Well, all right, we hot or cold? We it's, do our uh, usual. It appears to be a cold dish. Uh, and, it is, um, it is indeed. It is. Uh, Pop that little darling over yeah, and get a little nose full it, here. It smells good. It looks like something blueberry-ish. It, it is indeed. It is indeed. It's just a little uh, shortbread blueberry cobbler. Oh, now, yeah. Alan, you've been uh, you've been on a roll with the dessert style stuff lately. What was it last week? We had those little cookies. Yep. Yeah. Well, it's been kind of the uh, you know it's it's social it's season. season. Yeah. It's right, spring. Right. You know, it's everybody says bring a dish, and you you don't want to bring something. Uh, you know, you want to bring something good, but you don't want to, A, invest a ton of money in it, and B, mm-hmm. you, you don't want to be schlocking around the, you know, 12 gallons of chili trying to get to the no. church social with your white dress on and, you know, the yeah. good shoes and all that. And so, there's, yeah, because there's never a good lid for the chili anyway. You know, <laughs> so I'm all about let's let's cook something or make something that's going to make it there, still look good, still taste good. And it can sit on the table for a few hours. You know, that's the other thing everybody freaks out about. Well, how long has that been on the table? You know, how long has that been out? Well, you know, with a nice cobbler, you're good. When is the the best time to get your blueberries Uh, Uh, from your backyard? That, or when's that they're season? blooming right now. Okay. So I have got about 80 feet of, you know, white blooms all over the backyard. Okay. Of... These are actually last year's. Oh, well, okay. they came out of the freezer. Mm. So, and uh, you know, the really easy thing about making basically what all that is is just kind of a pie filling is your fruit, a little bit of sugar to sweeten it to the level you want, and some cornstarch. Thicken it up, and in this case, it's topped with just a mm. little bit of shortbread, which is just basically flour and butter, and a tiny little sprinkle of. Basically, lemonade mix. Just a tiny little sprinkle. Really? Gives you that little crisp lemon, little lemon brightness right there on the top. Breaks up a little bit of the sweet. Just gives you a nice, light, enjoyable, and I'm going to say very transportable dish to take to the friend's house, the neighbor's house, the social, whatever you're going to. You know know what I'm going to say, Alan. I know it's not crunchy enough. There's no crunch to it. I know, but not you could in this make, particular you, case. But, uh, the stuff you put on top, if you cooked it enough or or baked it enough, or what, yeah, you I, can you can cook this a lot deeper than I did. Yeah. yeah, you can you can actually brown this up pretty serious. Of you can put different toppings on this. Was so you could actually go with the. I mean, I don't want you to set smoke alarms off at your yeah. house. I'm just saying, let's, <laughs> let's, let's let's bake it enough to to give it some crunch, Alan. Well, you, all right, so we we need some some serious <laughs> crunch factor next week. So yeah, um, it's good though. I like it. Again, it's not a heavy. It's not a heavy not dessert. All. It's well, it's more fruit than anything. But when you've got when you've got some sweet berries that are in there that you can ride the thunder on anyway, you don't have to mess with near perfection anyway no no uh and and of course you know blueberries are a wonderful superfood they do great things for you they're good to you they're good for you they're just you know don't don't drop it on your don't drop it on your white shirt because you know. <laughs> <laughs> no uh yeah this is good w- would you recommend serving this while watching a solar eclipse you know, once again, this is one of those social foods where yeah. you can have, you know, a little pre-made, pre-portioned out, already got it set up and ready to go. And Monday is going to be a big day. I, I've, Believe it or not, I've had lots of people ask me for recipes for Monday. You know, we want some quick finger finger food. We want something while everybody's in the backyard. Gathering. Because yeah. this is going to be like a two-hour event. Yeah. And, yeah. and I love the signs over the interstate that say no pulling off to the side and observing the eclipse. Yeah. You know yeah, that's going to happen. Though. You know keep that's going to happen, though. So, believe it or not, if you're having an eclipse party, just some nice light finger foods, a little, you know, keep things nice and refreshing. It's going to be in the middle of the day. Get out there and, uh, you know, get out in the backyard and enjoy it. But please wear proper eye protection. What about moon pies? I don't make, I haven't made those. Not yet. No, not cre- yet. no crescent rolls because it is an eclipse. <laughs> Be not not accurate.
Yeah, that's important. Make sure the glasses <laughs> you're you're staring at the sun with are proper. Yes. Protection. Yeah. Don't don't think your uh you know your fancy sunglasses are going to get it done. They, yeah. They're not. Yeah. You could uh, uh, screw up your eyes permanently. Yeah. Let's not do that. Let's let's <laughs> let's let's see the food clearly the next day. Right. <laughs> Alan, the food dude. Uh, good 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 little uh, uh social food here. Where do they find your social foods uh, and your comfort foods and all of that stuff? All right. They can just pop over to thecookingtodayshow.com and follow along with our little kitchen adventures. All right. Do you even have a show called The Little Kitchen, don't you? Uh, we have, uh, let's see, Cooking in a Tiny Kitchen, and it came from the international market. Oh, two favorites. <laughs> all right, Alan, the food dude. Thanks, buddy. Man, thank you.